What's up, Boss Fam? It's your boy DJ The Boss coming back at y'all with another video. We got a lot of comments and responses to one of the last videos about, you know, coaching and and you know the, the scamming of that whole section of the industry and all of that stuff. And I will address that stuff later, but I got tons of value for you guys today. I always try to give you guys something really, really valuable and something that can help you with your business. I saw Tenacity Clean posted a video about some of the apps that help her. So I wanted to give you guys my top five resources that I use for my business that I think any business can, can pretty much benefit from. These are extremely good resources to have in business and I kind of wanted to go over them with you, share them with you so maybe you can you know, see if it can benefit your business or and help some of the systems and procedures in your company and uh, make things run a little bit smoother and maybe even uh, be able to increase your revenue in some, in some instances. So let's get right into it. Uh, if you're new to the channel, you found an excellent channel. Uh, I go by DJ The Boss. I own a commercial cleaning company up here in Seattle, Washington. Well, my office is in Mukilteo, but we service the whole greater Seattle area. We've been in business for about seven years. It's been going great, and we're well above, well above six figures. On this channel, I just like to share my experiences and uh, give tips and tricks and uh, create a space where everyone else can kind of pitch in their information and their experiences so we can all learn from each other, learn from each other's mistakes and uh, you know where we've had success so that everyone's not out here you know making the same mistakes over and over again so that this information is out there because this industry actually you know saved my life i started this when i was you know homeless and uh, now i'm doing pretty well for myself and my family so welcome to the community you found an excellent channel with that being said like this video you you get tons of value from it so it helps other people get that value and it makes the community that much bigger and you know that's better for all of us the more ideas and the more personalities and thoughts that we have in the community the better for all of us and the more that we can all learn from each other so and also after you like this video subscribe to the channel one of the best things you can do for your business entrepreneurial journey is to be on a continuous learning journey as well always be learning and always be trying to figure out what's out there and always be listening to what's going on and what people are saying and that means subscribing to channels like this what better of a channel to, to subscribe to than one that's kind of you know right right around what you're doing and and it's literally about and for people that are doing the same things that you want to or are doing. So subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. You found a great channel. I'm going to get this intro video rocking right now. Love is for all my bosses. Go through your bosses. Loving how you both babe. It's for all my dreamers and my doers and all the entrepreneurs. Just believe in what you're doing and pursuing love. It's for all my bosses. All right, boss fam. So we're back. So today I wanted to go over some of my my well my top five resources that I use in my business. Uh, things that I think are really important and really help my systems go you know a lot smoother. Uh, some of these are free. Some of them may be paid to a certain extent. They may range. I don't have all the prices and things uh, kind of right out in front of me. But I, I believe most of the stuff you can at least you know look around and, and price things for for free before you actually spend any money and you can actually see the value in these services before you actually you know spend any money or decide if you want to spend any money if it's right for you but first up on the list is going to be upwork upwork is a incredible resource for your business upwork is a platform for you know freelancers and uh, agencies and things like that where you can kind of go and hire virtual assistants or hire virtual workers or hire people to do any task that can be done remote basically uh, it's basically a hiring platform but more geared towards you know virtual virtual work with that said you can you can have you know virtual assistants customer service you can you know you can hire people from anywhere in the world including you know the US or even as cheap as to out in the Philippines but Upwork is an incredible resource you can you know hire designers copywriters any, any anything you can think of that you don't need someone to be physically in your in a location doing you can pretty much you know find that that skill or that you know that job on Upwork you can you know you can find all of those skills and all those services on Upwork for a pr usually a pretty reasonable price uh, and i think they they range they have things from very cheap all the way to very expensive depending on where in the world you're getting these services from but upwork is incredible i definitely recommend using upwork this video is not sponsored by any of these uh any of these entities at all these are just the things that i use and i thought would would help you guys so upwork i definitely use a lot and i still use it to this day especially in my media company um, but I think it's really good. You should look into it if you haven't already. If you've heard of Upwork and you haven't kind of taken it serious and you maybe needed someone to tell you that 
uh, you know you can actually have success on there then you know let me be to be one of the people to tell you that you most definitely can have success uh, with virtual assistance and you know people on Upwork of course there's some you know training involved you're gonna have to bring people into your system and train them on the, your company values and well obviously make sure you have value matches to start off with and uh, then making sure that they can complete the work in the way that that you want in the way that you know it's a brand match and a value match for you and your company so uh, but upwork is gonna be my first resource so there you go second resource i want to bring up is canva canva is a dope graphic designing and you know uh, graphic designing application or website or platform or whatever you want to call it but they have thousands of templates and uh you know from you know you can create youtube thumbnails most of my thumbnails on this channel are created on canva you can create web banners uh you know facebook covers instagram posts and they have templates so if you have tr trouble with design or you're not the most creative you can you know just kind of use a template and go and create something that looks professional uh without being a graphic designer or a, pro a professional designer you can get things out quick that have your logo on them and have nice text and things like that and some of the really cool things that it has for you if you are a little bit more creative and you do want to make things a little bit more personal personable but still maintain that professional appearance uh is they do a lot of really cool things like uh you know color palettes and you can kind of just click a button and have your colors match now you create brand kits where you have your brand's colors already kind of picked out so that when you do click a template you can kind of click your brand kit and it changes everything to your company colors and then you swap out a couple of pictures and there you go and you have some some professional piece of graphic for whatever you need whether it's a commercial or a, an ad or a, you know a video they do everything now it's it's getting better and better and now you can even start you can even do video content on canva as well so i really encourage you guys to check it out they really make it easy for you to, to look like a professional designer uh, they even do things like you know, you know pairing the right fonts together fonts that look well together you have no idea how valuable that is and what it does to your end user when you have those type of things lined up and looking really good so Spend some time on Canva. If you haven't looked into Canva or haven't heard about it already, I'm sure everybody's pretty much heard about Canva. But look into Canva, it's an incredible tool if you're not already like a graphic designer. If you're a graphic designer already or graphic design or Photoshop and things like that are already your skill, Canva might not be that impressive uh, to you, but it's still a really cool resource and it can make your workflow a lot faster as far as getting content you know, out in a, in a customized way. My third resource is going to be, well, it's gonna be third, let's see. QBO, QuickBooks, QuickBooks Online. QuickBooks Online is something that I use for accounting every day. I don't run the QuickBooks Online, Camille, my accountant, uh, who I didn't hire from Upwork, but is a virtual employee. She's just over on the other side of the state, uh, working from home since uh, the whole COVID thing and whatnot. But uh, she manages manages the QuickBooks. She reconciles uh, reconciles the books and the checking accounts and stuff like that. And you know, she'll check in with me and ask me about specific purchases, whether something was personal or business expense and stuff like that. But before I had Camille, I was doing all of the accounting myself. And uh, before things, before the numbers got too large and things start to get a little bit funny, uh, I was able to you know to manage my books at a de in a, you know, at a decent decent level in my opinion i don't know that's i guess that's subjective but it worked for me until now and it got me here but it, it, i encourage you to start keeping track of your your business spending and separating your business spending uh from your personal spending and uh, start keeping track of everything that your business is paying for and everything all the money coming in all the money going out you know your cost of goods sold and you know all all those things and those reports and your numbers that you need to know when when someone asks you whether you're trying to go get a loan or you're trying to get you know financing for something or uh, you're just in a business meeting or you know it, it you you come off as a much more professional business person when you can actually speak to your numbers and the only way you can do that is if you're keeping track uh and quickbooks online has been the easiest i've found in my you know in my career as far as uh, keeping track of the numbers and doing you know accounting i think uh before that i used like square and uh some a couple of other ones uh, to kind of just track payments and expenses and stuff like that, but nothing as has been as good as QuickBooks Online. So it's great for you to start off with using yourself. I don't think they have a completely free version, but I know they have a you know a bunch of different levels of plans that probably range from maybe 20 or 40 bucks a month, all the way up to hundreds of dollars a month. 
and they even include payroll as well. So you can even add on payroll. I think it's like an additional 70 or 80 bucks and then some additional price per employee. But it really automates the entire payroll process for you. It follows you know, most of your tax paperwork takes out taxes for your employees and, and you know automatically takes you know send lets you know your tax bill and you can kind of have it automatically come out of your account when taxes are due uh, which is how i have it set up so my taxes kind of just automatically get paid after i'm on payroll and taxes come out and stuff like that so no one has to worry about it all the numbers all the reports make themselves and uh you know one after you you grow your business a little bit you can you know hire it out to an accountant or a, you know a hr person who's handling payroll uh, which is you know how we have it set up here so you know it's managed by someone else now that it's out you know now that it's too much for me and uh, i think quickbooks was really really great for that so i think it's good to start with something professional that can kind of grow with you as you you know gain success because hopefully you're going to get success fast right uh moving on to my third what number are we on third or fourth i, I forget i think we're on the fourth fourth resource fourth resource is going to be DocuSign. If you have not heard of DocuSign, look into DocuSign. DocuSign makes signing documents and contracts extremely painless for your client. You can send them a contract and they can sign on their phone or on their computer or wherever they get it. You don't have to wait for a wet signature. You don't have to, you know, we're, we're moving past that. It's 2022. You know, let, let's, you know, I'm trying to move away from as much paper documents as possible. We should, we should have been doing that. Uh, and so if, I don't know if you were using like Adobe fill in sign before, which is another one that I was using, but DocuSign just works better. Everyone's starting to get familiar with it. Uh, especially in the B2B space, DocuSign is becoming extremely popular. So, um, or if you've signed up for something recently, or you maybe even got a DocuSign where you got some document, you know, you click a couple buttons, you see your contract, you scroll to the bottom, you, you know, click your signature. People can save their signatures, uh, but you can create forms, you can upload forms and, you know, customize them. So if you're already sending you know, emails with just a PDF document. Now you can just you know run that through DocuSign, and then that way that your client can, a potential client can sign it, or or whatever vendor or or contractor, any type of contract or paperwork that you need to you know have multiple people see or touch or sign and get back to you. DocuSign is incredible for that. I believe it's a freemium model. I'm not 100% sure. Don't quote me on that. Like I said, I'm not. It's not about the prices over here. I think you know you should kind of consider the consider the value of what these uh, resources can give you uh, over the price, and I think you'll you'll find that regardless of the price, you know these resources are in, invaluable. And DocuSign for me is one that uh, it you know it probably could be a lot more expensive than it is because they know they're you know signing documents that that means money's being exchanged. So really really cool makes you look really really professional and makes you look like you have your shit together when you send your client a DocuSign and they can you know have everything done and all the documents signed and completed in the next two minutes you know and that's it saves them time it makes them happy makes you look good it's a great thing to have and so my fifth and final resource uh, this is gonna be a bonus resource this is probably the number one resource that you're gonna need for your business can't stress how important this is. You, you're literally gonna use it from everything from your website to communication, to learning, to uh, everything. If, you were, if, if, this, if, if this isn't your number one resource, I promise you, you are going to struggle through business. The number one resource overall is going to be Google. Don't laugh too hard because I'm dead serious. <laughs> Google is the number one resource uh, from everything they have. So when I say Google, obviously you probably just think of search, like I'm telling you to just go look up a bunch of stuff and, and do research about the things you need to know. And yes, do that. You, you also need to use Google in that way as well. They're, they're the kings of search. So anything that you don't know, you need to be using Google to look it up and spend some time in those search results. Don't just stay on the first page. Uh, you know, if you're really looking for something, spend some time researching it. You know, look, look things up. Find out the things that you need to know. Find out what you need to be doing next. Find out how to get things done the way you want to get it done. You know, don't just accept that you don't know something. Go and research. Go look it up on Google. It's there. Another thing about Google, they have an array of apps that you most definitely will need. 
You may not need all of them, but you will need some of them, including your Google Analytics, Google Search Console, uh, maybe uh, G Suite, which I think is a different name now. But uh, so, you know, G Suite, you know, lets you you know customize your email so that you have the your name at your company dot com, or you know, usually that's also provided by your your web hoster, but. They also, Google also host, you know, it's a web hosting service. You can buy domains on Google uh, to link to your website. So Google is, they damn near run the internet. I mean, it's between, between Google and freaking Jeff Bezos, it's, it, that's most of the internet right now. <laughs> it's Google and Amazon. So get friendly with Google. Learn everything you can about Google and their array of business apps including google ads and adsense google analytics youtube you can use all of this stuff for your business and you damn near need to be an expert at it not just so that you can be doing it to to get your business to the next level but so that when you do get to the next level you know what you're talking about when you go to hire someone to perform these tasks but google can do a lot of stuff from internal communication and, and collaborating on documents uh, to you know meetings and, and Google Hangout and stuff like that. You can use Google for so much. So Google, it's and it's free. It's free. Let that sink in. It's the number one resource that you can use for your business. You will 100% need it because your business does need to come up in search. So you need to be good at Google search and you know coming up in search. Uh, you know you need your Google My Business profile or Google My whatever they're calling it nowadays. You need it. You need to be partnered up with Google. Get real friendly with them because they run the internet. So, but that's it. Those are my those are my tips. Those are my resources. I hope you guys got some value from this video. Please like this video, run this video up. I want to see 50 likes on this video. I know that's a advantageous goal or, or, you, know, uh, you know, for us on this channel, but it'll probably be the first time a video got 50 likes, but let's make it happen. So if you don't see that number next to the thumb at 50, go ahead and hook your boy up with that 50 likes. Let's go to community huge, man. We got all these other people with huge followings and huge communities and they're selling the information that I, I want to give you for free. So let's change that. Like this video so that everyone else in the community can find it and subscribe to the channel so that uh, you're not missing out on any future value and that you get to stay a part of the community uh, when we release and we have new conversations. So I love you guys. Keep that boss mentality. Peace.